Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This is day two of our trip. If you haven't watched last week's video, click the link up here, go watch that, and then you'll be up to speed about what's happening on this trip. Now, you may or may not remember me saying at the end of last night, I was pretty worried about the state of the river. It was pretty, pretty high, and crossings were very sketchy, and I was potentially thinking that maybe we might not be able to get upstream. Today, I'm feeling a little bit more confident because the river has dropped dramatically overnight, which is awesome. It's almost a different river. So this is the plan, everybody. So we've broken camp, put on the packs, and we're just gonna spend the morning just getting upstream. Now, it's real rough going, there's no tracks, it's real tigery kind of country. It's gonna to be tough, but we basically wanna boost past where we finished off last night, and then it gets really bony and crappy for a long way. So we're just gonna get past that until we get up and it starts to flatten out a bit, and then the good water starts, from memory anyway. Put in the hard work this morning, get where we wanna go, and then, then we can find a campsite, go fishing. All right, we're about ready to go. The sun is out, it's beautiful, it's warm-ish. Let's get cracking. Hang on. <coughs> Yeah, good one. Let's go. Okay, 8.25 and we're on the go. No, I can't see, can't see anything. Let's go fishing, he said. I wanna have a good time. It'll be fun. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Just be real careful to test all those rocks, bro, with your feet before you put weight on them. Because it's super it's sketchy. sketchy. Jumped into the river for a little bit, just because it was super sketchy coming up the edges uh, in the bush there. Real steep, real shingly, unstable, everything really. I didn't like it. I just thought we'd drop into the river for a bit, see if it's any quicker and easier. So far, this bit is. I know it's going to gorge out up there somewhere, so we'll probably end up back in the in the bush at some point. Yeah. We should be better up on that terrace. So, yeah, I think. should hop back in somewhere here, get up, because that's going to get that's cool, then I shitty. Yeah, I've got the size of that boulder there. I think I've lived in smaller houses. This is all right. It's a bit better. I don't think it's going to last for long at all. So, enjoy it. Enjoy it while it's here. What do you got there? Let's just chug a snack. Pretty Snacker. What are you doing with? Oh, fruit stick. Little, little sugar burst. Oh. You good? I'm not really, really stable. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Make sure you got a real good foothold there before you go. That's not real stable, don't trust that. Nah, don't trust that. There's a good foothold right there, right there, that's a good foothold. Use that, really dig your side of your boot in. That's it. Not really enjoying this. Not really liking this much at all, eh? This is super sketchy, I don't know if you can see. I don't want to move too much on this sheer cliff face. But, that's just death. <laughs> 
and we've just been working our way across this gorge or getting up and over this gorge and uh yeah it's not it's not very nice to be honest we're quite glad to get out of here eh? oh yeah <laughs> i think we should be able to side around a little bit more and then we should be able to maybe drop down and even get in the river it's a brutal oh. Oh. boy Oh, it's a nice day out of here. So we finally got around and just dropped into the river for a sit down. And then we might actually just go the next 100 meters or so up the river. It looks like it's all right. And then the next time it gorges out, we'll push back up and over, hopefully. But that was um, unpleasant. It was scary in places. Better be some fish up here. <laughs> just um, smacking in some jerky. If you don't know these guys, I only found them at the end of last season and it's easily the best jerky I've found. So good. I'll link them in the description below. You can go check them out. Ah, we're running the same flavour. Mm -hmm. The OG. Big shout out to Bootleg Jerky. And we're off again. Give you an idea of scale, just how big these boulders are compared to old mate over there. It's crazy. So I could be living in a land of giants. Look <laughs> that. Oh, this is awful. Just trying to get some kind of a path up and around this gorge. Four hours, no, four hours into this fun little hike and I think we're pretty close to where we need to be and want to be. Should be the last gorge that we're having to go up and over. It's not much of a track and there's lots of obstacles which is proving bothersome after too many hours with this pack on. But uh, it's all good, it's all good. Ah, so tired! <sighs> Some uh, fun guy. I'm a fun guy. After a whiskey. Oh. I think we're there. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. All right. Okay, I think we're finally where, at the beginning of the Good War anyway. Not quite sure where we're going to camp yet, a bit further upstream I think, but I think this is where the gorgeous stuff stops, starts to flatten out a little bit, and the good water begins. Uh, and we've been hiking for five hours that took. I'm actually really, really looking forward to just uh, taking our time and making a big camp. <laughs> Alright, All right. let's have a look along this edge. There'll definitely be a fish in there. 100%. Okay, we're finally above all the gorgy, shitty stuff, and this is the first good piece of water, from memory anyway. We've seen two fish take off the top in this piece of water already, so uh, it's one shot first today. So um, yeah, I guess single dry fly, I reckon. That'll probably be the one. Rejected! 
go very well. The fish ate JP's flies at least once. Uh, just, I don't know, missed it on the strike. And then after that, he kind of was a bit shifty, and then he got a couple more drifts to him, he kind of looked at it, and then just whew, out of here. And we saw another fish across from me. There's another fish opposite me, and one's over there. Uh, but he's seen another fish on his way up to me. I've been trying to catch that one. I think it's looked at the flies a couple of times, but uh, it hasn't happened so far. And there's another fish right opposite me for a third shot. So, I don't know. I feel like you should be able to get one of these. Amazing water. Absolutely amazing water. Look at that. It's the stuff of dreams. Okay, well, there was like four or five shots there that just didn't go our way. Uh, he lost that one, and the rest were kind of just looked, missed, spooked, rejected, whatever. Right, so a pretty good start as far as like fish seen in the first piece of water. That's that's pretty awesome. So it's like 2.30 now. I'm not too sure where we're going to camp. So really what we're going to do now is like not really fish. We're just going to cross, and we're just going to go try and find a campsite, and then get that sorted, and then, uh, then we've got time. The priority right now is find a campsite, get that sorted. Yeah, that's going to be good. Yeah, that'll do to start with, eh? I'm quite liking the system here of inflation. Basically, you have this nozzle here that goes on to there. Then you inflate this bag and you use it to inflate the sleeping bag. And that completes the setup. Ho, ho, ho. That my friend, that is the bomb. All right, we're on the hunt for firewood. So we're gonna start and get some of this stuff, get the fire going. So we're gonna get some good amounts of firewood, more of this stuff, we'll catch well. And then now we can get our bigger six going with that. And then we're gonna look some like straight, strong, long poles for some bipods and then we can make a washing line seeing as there's no trees to use. Mm. Oh, here we go. This is the kind of stuff we want. This stuff. Yeah. See, that'd be great. Now, oh, there we go. It might, be a, it might be a winner. Yep, that'll work. Got a bad camp pool, eh? Campy poolie. Campamento. Campamento Pulio. Hear that sound? That snap, that crack, that real dry sounding crack. That's what we want. Oh, the mother load. Oh, this would be great. It's just dry. It's already dead, been dead for a long time. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. And grab big armfuls of it if you can, and then sort it out once you get back to the fire. I'm losing it, I'm losing it. <sighs> yeah, okay. So I want to get a couple of straight ones. So I'm going to be selective about what I take, but there's tons of these around, so it's not too much of an issue if I take a couple. Okay. Please a little tidy up. 
So now we're going to make two bipods. Spent my entire, I guess, winter. Oh, what did I do with that? What did I do? Oh, I'll just use this. It's all right. Don't matter. You gave me that uh, white. white one. Yeah. yeah, and I've lost it straight away. Anyway, I spent a lot of my winter watching uh, cold cracker bushcraft and stuff like that. And it's like outdoorsy kind of camping survival-y stuff. Anyway, oh, I got a bit obsessed with it because I love that stuff. I'm a bit of a nerd. Uh, but I haven't actually done this one before. So we've got our two, two sticks, a piece of paracord. And all I'm going to do, oh, sand flies. It's about a foot down, I'm just going to lash those two together. I'm just going to use a regular overhand knot, it doesn't matter, it really doesn't matter. Anyway, it doesn't have to be super tight, and you'll see why in a minute. So I've just done a regular overhand knot there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take one of them, and we're going to do a good old 360. And then what that gives us is a bipod. Pretty cool. Oh, well, that was running. Brilliant. So here's the plan, bro. We've got our bipods, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so the idea is we're going to have one either end. We're going to tether this end off and then run it across. And then the tension going kind of up and across and down to the other one should give us some kind of structure structure so you want to hold that roll with yeah we want to yeah so if we come into that and bring that back through there yeah tether that off to a stone this bit i'm really making up but i think it will work uh, let's take that one off right yeah 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 okay 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 Excellent. yeah then we'll grab that other one from there and that log too. Nice, nice. That's it, that's it. So if we do this, yeah, yeah. actually, yeah, yeah. And then I'll go around all of this. <laughs> that should do. All right, so we've got that bipod. And then boop, 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 all the way along. And then down to there. I think that's going to work. Thank you, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Well yeah. Guys, come and look at this. Look what we've done. Woohoo! We just upgraded Campamento. We, uh, we employed that same, that same bipod system and we've used it to set up our bush buck tarp, which is uh, pretty sweet. I mean, for a couple of guys that don't know what they're doing, it's pretty freaking good, I reckon. Look at that. Washing line over the back, tents over there. I mean, I don't know what you think. It doesn't really matter because we're stoked with it. It's time to have a cup of coffee, maybe a whiskey, and then get some food on. All right, time to fill up the old water cans. This can is it. I'm gonna get rid of this old warm stuff. <sighs> and then we've got this uh, four litre uh, bladder from um, Hydro Pack, which is really cool for camp. <sighs> Sweet ass. All right, uh, feeling pretty sore. Sorry for ourselves, but we got what we needed to get done today done if that makes any sense uh the sand flies are brutal absolutely brutal tonight i mean that's why i'm stood up walking around just trying to keep them off me as much as i can mine had a couple of shots today uh when we got up here uh, i didn't even cast a line today so um hopefully i'll remedy that tomorrow from here we're traveling light and we're just going to basically work our way up from here i think we've got at least a couple of good days fishing and i think we've got like a third two and a half days whatever we've got a lot of fishing ahead of us pretty excited to just go and check it out anyway um right make some food and then just chill probably have an early night because well pretty pretty tired and then up and into it in the morning so i'll sign off here and then we'll catch up with you in the morning and we'll go for a fish 
to see what's going on around that corner. All right, one last look. It's pretty sweet. See you in the morning, guys.